Well, good morning. Welcome to our service of morning prayer. Today we celebrate Saint Bartholomew, the Apostle. Um, often uh, he's described as Nathaniel in some Bible readings. Um, so we'll come to readings which are specific to him uh, later on. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made, he remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass, we flourish as a flower of the field, for as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures for ever and ever upon those who fear him, and his righteousness is upon children's on those who keep his covenant, and remember his commandments, so to do. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O Lord, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Now we come to this morning's reading, which is from John chapter 1, verse 43 to 51. Uh, and in this, uh, Bartholomew, uh, uh, St. Bart, uh, uh, Bartholomew is often known as Nathaniel. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, follow me. Philip was from the town of Bethsaida, where Andrew and, Phil Andrew and Peter lived. Philip found Nathanael and told him, we have found the man that Moses wrote about in the law and the prophets. He is Jesus, the son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to Philip, can anything good come from, from Nazareth? Philip replied, come and see. As Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him, he said, Here is truly an Israelite. There is nothing false in him. Nathanael asked, how do you know me? Jesus answered, I saw you when you were under the fig tree before Philip told you about me. Then Nathanael said to Jesus, Teacher, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus said to Nathanael, Do you believe simply because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than that. And Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, you will all see heaven open and angels of God going up and coming down on the Son of Man. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As it's St. Bartholomew's Day, we have a special refrain for the Benedictus this morning. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that shall last. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. The Lord has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, 
holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so, let us pray. That this and all our days may be full of your praise. We pray to you, O Lord. That you will keep us this day without sin. We pray to you, O Lord. That we may walk before you in the paths of righteousness and peace. We pray to you, O Lord. That you will bless your people and lift them up forever. We pray to you, O Lord. That you will guide and protect us by your Holy Spirit and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. We pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of Almighty God. And so here we offer in silent prayer all that is on our hearts and minds to our Father who is in heaven. Almighty and everlasting God, you gave to your Apostle Bartholomew grace truly to believe and to preach your word. Grant that your Church may love that word which he believed, and may faithfully preach and receive the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. On this day, when we pray for Saint Bartholomew, we pray too for all churches dedicated to his name, and indeed, the many hospitals dedicated to St. Bartholomew throughout the world, and especially St. Bart's in London. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord our God, as with all creation, we offer you the life of this new day. Give us grace to love and to serve you, to the praise of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This morning, I think it's the turn of the Lord's Prayer in a more modern language. 
as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for being with me uh, for this uh, morning prayer. Um, uh, Ali is uh, back this evening for evening prayer. Um, I shall see you um, tomorrow and on Wednesday in the evenings and once again on Thursday morning. Bye for now. Have a good day.